Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Joe Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, we have Dalton Stoltz, and I decided to do a little video interview and, um, you know, let everyone get to know who he is and then where you born and raised, Dalton. Um, I've been born and raised uh, here in Pacifica, California, all my life. Now, you are coming up fighting on the next upcoming card, March 16, uh, at the Cal Palace. It's a big show. Mm -hmm. um, this is your second MMA fight against a very, very motivated opponent. Just interview him today as well, a Paul Lin. Um, so, what, what do you think of him? Um, besides this interview, I really don't know uh, too much about him, but um, like you said, he does seem um, super motivated. Um, seems like a seems like a cool guy, so this seems like it's going to be a pretty good fight, so I'm excited. Now, obviously, you're a Jujutsu white belt. You know, been training for what, a couple years now, on and off. Yeah, I started in um, I'd say like around like twenty twenty one, but it's been a little bit on and off. Um, I'd say like the last um, year, I've been pretty consistent though. So against the guys like him, he's been training the last two years, and um, you know, he looked like he's been dedicated for the last couple of years. And I know you've been, you know, finding work, jobs, and you know, personal life. Literally just the last actually eight or nine months and you start taking this more serious. How do you prepare for your opponent? Um, <clears throat> honestly, I'm really not trying to um, go in with a game plan. I'm just really trying to stay as, um, as well-rounded as possible just in terms of um, my jiu-jitsu, my grappling, and my striking. Um, I'm just working on defense and offense for, for everything. Just trying to stay um, just as well-rounded as possible. Now coming off this fight, you're five foot eight against the guy's five ten. He has height advantage, um, possibly have some weight advantage because you. What do you walk around now? One fifty five. I'd probably say like no, not one fifty five. I'd probably say like one sixty to one sixty five. Wow. Okay. I well, I I do personal training, so I um I I work a lot, so I try to. Unfortunately, um, I can't train as, as much as like some of these other amateur fighters five, six days a week. I try to get here four days a week, but um, I, do, um, I do a full-time job in the uh, sheet metal union, but um, my, uh, my night job, I guess you could say, my side job is personal training, so I do a lot, of, um, a lot of weightlifting that keeps me a little bit heavier, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, any particular guy, you know, besides him, any particular guys? particular guys you have your eyes on him because 145 pounds it's a pretty stacked division especially in the amateur in, in the bay area it is tons exciting. 145 pounds and a lot of good 145 mm -hmm. pounds you have anybody in mind that you're looking at and like hey this guy might have to fight him in the future um i wouldn't say like anything anybody specifically but there's probably gonna be a few names on the card that i'm gonna have my eyes on afterwards i know um I know I was supposed to have a specific opponent originally, but that got changed around. So, um, depending on how this fight goes, hopefully I could um, look forward to seeing uh, that individual in the future. But um, like you said, it's an exciting uh, weight class, so um, I'm I'm looking forward to the future with whoever. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, how can people contact you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, um, Don Stoltz. Uh, pretty much anywhere on Instagram, um, I'm there. So uh, if you're looking for ticket sales or anything like that, just uh, send me a message and and yeah. Any special loved one, training partners, sponsors, supporters you wanna shout out to? Um, yeah, shout out um, Anytime Fitness. Um, shout out um, to my family, um, my brother, uh, Justin, um, Franklin, um, all my, my friends and family basically. I'm doing this for you guys, repping Pacifica. So uh, hopefully you guys can come out to the uh, the show. I'm trying to I'm trying to double as many people that came last time. So uh, seriously, you guys are gonna wanna. This is gonna be a good fight. So come watch. That's awesome. March 16th at the Cow Palace. This is a big showdown. 20 fights on the card. Um, also, I'm adding. I'm trying to add a couple more fights on the card. Possibly a pro kickboxing fight. Uh, that would be uh, awesome if we can do that, you know, so um, uh, When you're watching your opponent's video uh, What do you think of him, you know, like He seems a uh, he seems like a respectful uh, martial artist. He doesn't seem like one of those um, 
how I would say, cocky um, up and comers, but um, you know, can never underestimate anybody. So um, I'm gonna train hard for this. Um, I hope he trains hard for this as well. Um, obviously, he's gonna have people there watching him as I am. So I just want to make sure it's a uh, it's a good fight. We can both put on a good performance and and may the best man win. What do you think? He's he's been doing jujitsu for almost two years, and you haven't been doing jujitsu for that long mm -hmm. as a white belt. What do you think of this ground game might have an advantage on you? So, how do you prepare for that? Yeah, I'm probably just gonna work on a lot of um, wrestling, um, wrestling defense. Um, so maybe it doesn't go to the ground, but you know, honestly, um, I feel like my jiu-jitsu actually has been getting better um, since my last fight in terms of rolling with um, some of the active amateurs and pros. But uh, honestly, I'm really just trying to, you know, focus on um, just not having a game plan and wherever the fight goes, I'll just be uh, well prepared, um, keeping up with my cardio and my strength and conditioning, running, just trying to, just trying to stay active. How do you feel of your last performance, your, pro, your MMA debut? Um, honestly, it was, um, it was quite the experience. Um, some of the, uh, like some of the fight, I was expecting it, a lot of the fight, I wasn't expecting it, so, um, you know, um, I thought I did um, pretty well for my debut, but there's there's definitely a lot I can work on um, in terms of you know um, my footwork, my de definitely my footwork and my head and my head movement. But um, uh, I thought um, I thought my grappling actually uh, played uh, my wrestling played a good part. So you know, um, just hopefully I could um, learn from that fight and and just work on those um, those flaws. I would say. No, you never really wrestled in high school or anything literally all the stuff you get the last year or so to train here mm -hmm. um what do you think of your performance like in terms of like a progressing from the last fight to this upcoming fight what what do you expect yourself to do differently um you know i would say just have definitely having a different mindset i would say that's that's um you know um if anybody watches my first fight i kind of was going in very um, nonchalantly and you can't do that especially as an amateur so I'd say like my uh, I'm just like working on like you know having more of a fighter mentality um, trying to push uh, push the pace and um, you know just 110% anywhere I go you know whether it's here working out lifting just trying to just be on top of everything that's awesome uh, now if your opponent um uh, uh, Paul Lin watching this interview, what do you have to say to Paul? Um, let's put on a show for everybody. Um, I wish you the best of luck with your training for these next uh, three and a half weeks. Hopefully um, there's no injuries um, and hopefully you're 100% when we fight. So uh, let's put on a show for everybody and uh, I look forward to fighting you and meeting you. That's awesome. <laughs> Bless you. <coughs> Allergies. Goddamn. Anyway, who's your U favorite UFC fighter? You know, honestly, um, I, I'd say it kind of like switches off randomly because um, it used to be uh, it used to be kind of like Conor McGregor and Max Holloway, but I'd say like right now it's definitely a Shavkat. 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 Step. Honestly, I, wow. Okay. I like his style. I like the way he. Uh, I follow him on Instagram. I like the way he trains. Um, Kind of like one of those uh, mountain Dagestani yeah, kind of yeah. similar style. So uh, that's the future welterweight champ, I think. I think so too. Yeah, that's, I that's, definitely agree. That's, but, uh, that's a tough one for anyone that's gonna have to face him. You know, he's pretty well rounded too. Yeah. So anyway, for more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. Uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel, follow us on uh, on Instagram, and uh, subscribe our YouTube channel. And then our next event after March 16th is gonna be June 8th. So uh, stay tuned, all the fighter managers, hit me up if you guys want to get your fighters on the next card or even this upcoming card, we're trying to get one or two more fights on the card. So we'll see you guys March 16th. Any last one you want to say to any sponsor, families, anybody? Um, just shout out everybody from Pacifica. I'm doing this for you guys once again. Let's get this dub. Awesome. All right, I'm Joe Lowe signing out. See you guys March 16th.